Okay, in this video, we are going to prove that the dual G star of a plane graph is planar. Okay, so before proving this theorem, let's look at an example. So let's consider a very simple plane graph G. Okay, and suppose that the plane graph is uh, something like this. So let's draw the uh, dual of this graph. Okay, let this graph be G. So we can very easily see that this G is a plane graph or a planar graph. Okay, so let's go draw the dual of this graph in a different color, so blue. So by definition, we saw how to draw a dual of this thing. So uh, for every region, okay, we define a vertex, okay, in our dual graph. So this graph it has three regions. So in our dual graph, okay, we have these three vertices, okay, and the edges are defined as follows. So if an edge lie on the boundary of two region, okay, then there will be an edge between uh, the vertices corresponding to those regions. So here we are going to draw the edge in such a way that okay, the edge of the dual graph it is going to cross the corresponding edge. Uh, corresponding edge here means the edge that is on the boundary of uh, the regions that define those two vertices. For example, if we consider this edge, we can see that this edge is on the boundary of this region and this region. Okay, and this region is uh, identified uh, okay with this vertex on our dual graph and this region is identified by this vertex on our dual graph. So, what we do is we will add this edge and we add the edge in such a way that that edge crosses its, uh, its defining uh, edge in the uh, graph G and that edge is not going to touch any other edge in this graph. Similarly, if you consider this edge, okay, we are going to draw the edge of the dual graph okay, in this way. Okay, we can see that this edge, it touches uh, this edge at exactly one point and it is not going to touch any other uh, edge of G. Okay, and similarly if you consider this edge we can see that this edge is on the boundary of this region and this region. Okay, so we have this edge and we are going to draw that edge in such a way that that edge it touches this edge uh, exactly at one point and this uh, the edge of the dual graph it is not, not going to touch any other edge of our graph G. Okay, similarly, for this edge, okay, it is on the boundary of this region and this region. So, we add this edge. So, we can see that it only touches uh, this edge at exactly one point and it is not going to touch any other edge of this graph. Okay, And similarly, uh, okay, similarly, we can see that if you consider this edge, okay, it is on the boundary of this region and this region. So, we add this edge in such a way that that edge it touches okay, this particular edge at exactly one point and it is not going to touch any other edges of uh, the graph G. Okay. And similarly, we have one more edge. So, let us consider this edge. So, it is on the boundary of this region and this region. Okay. So, we have this edge and we draw that edge in such a way that it touches this edge at exactly one point and it is not, it is not going to touch any other uh, edge of our graph G. Okay, so here we can see that okay, this blue graph it is also a plane graph. So the uh, plane okay, it is planar. We can see that the edges of this blue graph okay, it is not going to cross each other or intersect each other. Okay, so let's go and prove the general statement. So it is going to be exactly similar to what we did here. Okay, the proof is like how we constructed this blue graph here. That's it. Okay, so let's go and prove this statement. Okay, so so in this proof we are going to follow the same construction that we used to construct this blue graph from this red graph. Okay, so let D be a plane graph. and G star be the dual of G. Okay, so next what we are going to do is we are going to uh, discuss a construction for G dash. 
okay and that construction it follows exactly the same kind of construction that we use for constructing this blue graph okay so the following construction of g star okay this uh, it shows that g star is planar and the construction is as follows so what we do is okay we place each vertex okay so somewhat similar to what we did here okay we place a vertex corresponding to a particular region here okay okay so place each vertex f i star of g star okay, inside its corresponding region region okay f i in our graph g okay that's what we did here so this particular vertex it corresponds to this region and this vertex in our dual graph it corresponds to this exterior region and this vertex it corresponds to okay this region okay so that's what we do first so that defines the vertices of the graph so place each vertex f i star of g star inside its corresponding region f i in g okay and next okay what we did here uh, okay for this particular edge what we did is something like okay if an edge is on the boundary of two region so we insert this edge in such a way that okay that edge okay it touches okay it's defining edge in graph g exactly once and it is not going to touch any other edge in the graph okay so let me write down what i said so if the edge e i lies on the boundary of two regions say f j and f k in our graph g okay, what we are going to do is we will join the two vertices corresponding to this f i f j okay this f i okay so let it be say f j and f k okay so f j star and f k star uh, in the dual graph okay so if the edge e i lies on the boundary of two regions f j and f k of g okay join the two vertices okay join the two vertices f j star and f k star by the edge e i star okay and that's what we did here for example okay, if this region is a f j and if this outer region is a f k so this vertex it will be f j star and this vertex will be f k star and okay, here we can see that okay, this edge it is on the boundary of f k and f j so what we do is we will join okay, these two edges in such a way that that edge it crosses this edge uh, at one point and it is not going to cross any other edge in this graph okay and uh, we insert this edge in such a way that we draw <coughs> this ei star so that okay, it crosses 
the edge uh, EI exactly once okay as we did here exactly once of this particular thing so uh, if this is a EI then this is how we draw EI star which is an edge in our dual graph okay so draw EI star so that it crosses the edge EI exactly once and cross no other edge of and crosses no other edge of G okay so we can see that uh, okay uh, we draw the edges in such a way that it crosses the edge EI exactly once and it is not going to cross any other edge okay so there is a one to one correspondence between the edges in EI star and the edges in G and the edges in G star okay and that is a proof so proof is a uh, constructive proof and okay it follows from this particular exam that is it okay so it is a very simple proof anyway so that says the dual g star of a plane graph is also a planar graph 